Well, that was friggin' hilarious. Um, just downloaded my OAR and IAR from DigiWorld, and my inventory was a gigabyte. <laughs> so, it's bloody massive. So, anyway, we're going to upload it now. So, let's see how long it takes to upload a gig of data to uh, this dream grid. Uh, what are we doing here? Content. Do, do, do. No, content. IAR load inventory. Uh, that's where I've saved it. Here we go. Bang. I guess I'll log in and just see if it's there. Righto. Please hold. Just out of interest, how much drain is this putting on the system? It's only using 3 or 4 percent of the CPU. 23 percent of... no. No. Bugger all, it's negligible anyway. And while I'm waiting for this uh, world to open, I should just mention briefly about that uh, IAR and OAR download from DigiWorlds. Um, they're pretty used to me there and uh, I, it's not that easy. I don't know what you're thinking. It's easy to pull files out of DigiWorlds. They really are, are big on protecting IP. Um, but I'm pretty well known for not using anyone else's content, so everything on my region I've made, every every last molecule there is mine. So what I've decided, I'm um, in world. This is that region I was on yesterday, um, the welcome, the default welcome. Now I'm going to convert this into the region I had on uh, on DigiWorld. So that means turning it into that big commercial property with the palace at the front. Okay, first let's check my inventory. It looks like it's still loading. It's got 1,200 items. Okay, it's very interesting about what files it's it's bringing in. But anyway, let's bring in the OAR for now because that's more visually exciting. I'll check the IAR later. So we'll go back to the user interface and content. Oh, I load, oh, load region. Here we go. Welcome is the one we want to load a region to. Arius, here we go. Oh boy, oh boy. Click to load the lower left corner of the file into this location. Okay. Make a backup. There's nothing to backup, mate. CPU intensive backup started. <laughs> Uh, that means let's have a quick look at control alt delete and see how CPU intensive this is. Task manager. Uh, Firestorm's am I using? Bugger all, still the camera is the one that's uh, using, causing most of the lag, so no, that looks fine. Uh, it's only using 44% of CPU, 25% of memory, blah blah blah. No, it's fine. Let's see what uh, notifications we're getting in Robust. Looks like a heap of warnings coming up there. Welcome. Loading OAR. File terrain loaded successfully. Storing back terrain, storing terrain. What else do we have here? Uh, that's just about robust. It's just about my login request. There's no warn warnings coming up there. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what's happening here, so we'll pause and come back to it. It's it does as we saw yesterday with uh, Kiwi. It does take a little while for an OAR to upload, and sometimes it can be a bit funny when you're on the region. So I might I might just quickly teleport across to Kiwi. And actually, something else would be interesting to check is how it all appears on the map. Oh, okay, so here I touched on it yesterday. So, this is the first region we set up. This is welcome, the default region. And see how the map is really quite bare. And then we chose a uh, for, for Kiwi, we chose to have a better looking map. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That's a so that's the that's the realistic, quite a realistic map. Um, the one that uh, 
sort of used to from Second Life and uh, even In Worlds back in the day had that. It's still, interestingly, it's still showing the uh, blocks that are marked up for sale, which is an interesting that that overlay works in this world. That's great. And it's also selling, showing the green dots there, which are avatars. So those are my bots. That's the pussy girls there. And there's a, a Tommy Lava at the nightclub, and it's probably a, a DJ at the nightclub. So um, there's four bots in there. So that's looking really good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so we're back on uh, the Kiwi VAR region. This was the big 4x4 that I um, uploaded yesterday or in the previous video. Um, I've, you might have noticed I've switched to voiceover. The, uh, I apologize for the uh, recording quality in some of these videos. I, I've had a few issues with uh, different microphones, but I think I'm on top of it now. Uh, also, with this particular clip, uh, there was so much noise from uh, the avatar flying everywhere, so uh, I thought, well, we'll switch to voiceover. But anyway, um, yeah, looking around here now, around Arius, it's looking really good. Uh, one thing I didn't show yesterday or on the previous video, part two, was that when I first uploaded the Kiwi region, I actually uploaded it twice and I didn't show that in the video, but I uploaded uh, one copy of the uh, Kiwi OAR file and because it wasn't loading quickly, I uploaded another version because I thought the first one was faulty and what ended up happening is it appeared and then everything disappeared and derezzed and I ended up with an empty island and I was scratching my head for a while and then it occurred to me that the because of my impatience I hadn't waited for the the various events that were queued to do their thing so I'd, in uploading the first OAR file what the system does is deletes all the scene objects so it deletes everything off the region um, uploads the terrain and then loads the the new scene objects well while the system was trying to do that i decided to try and upload a new uh, oar file and all that happened is uh, because of the queue it, it just deleted all the objects that were being rest so i didn't show all that in the video but for some reason i felt compelled to tell you now um, so if you do when you do go to upload an oar file just be patient let the thing do its thing get off the region, walk away, and then come back in an hour once everything's settled down. So that's where we're up to with Kiwi now. Um, it looks beautiful. It hasn't lost an object since yesterday. Even my bots uh, are working. Uh, you would have seen a few floating around here. Uh, I'm quite surprised at how well they're working. Uh, they, are, they are five years old, but it's still they're still advanced tech for their time and they're still still very good tech now so uh, um, I'll remove them off this region now but uh, yeah it's good to note that tech still works okay so uh, I'll log out of this region again now and I'll, I'll take off for an hour or two and then come back and we'll uh, see what's happening on Arius and hope uh, on on welcome region the, which was where we we're uploading the OAR file and hopefully that will uh, be a nice little replica of the Arius region I showed you on DigiWorlds. Fingers crossed. Righto, so here we are back on Welcome. Uh, everything, the OAR file has uploaded in its entirety. Uh, the IAR file has now got 25,000, 26,000 items in it, which is pretty much on the money. Uh, the bots are working, the textures have all come across, uh, scripts are all running, the vehicles are functional. Uh, it just seems absolutely identical. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's been a bit of a journey, a bit of a, it's only a small learning curve, but a hell of a journey. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that I was more patient uploading this region than I was on Kiwi. Uh, but um, 
Yeah, the only only thing different that I notice is the day cycles. Uh, they seem to ordinarily in Second Life and Open Sim a, a day cycle normally goes for. Uh, I think you get six days to the calendar day. Um, here it appears to be one one day to the calendar day because this sunset has lasted an awfully long time. Uh, but I'm, I'm guessing that's all uh, modifiable. But yeah, uh, verdict on Dream Grid. I think it's overall a, a, a pretty good setup. Um, yeah, I'd recommend you give it a try. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video series and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.